Hi, I'm Rachel Chamness at soundwavesheal.com. I am a sound healer and I call my sound healing liquid Reiki. It is a mixture of sound healing such as light language and Reiki and channeling, channeling healing. So all of this is mixed together in liquid Reiki sound healing and I do teach this and certify people in it as well through my trans mediumship courses. So today I wanna to talk about tuning forks, how I use them and how you can use them to heal others. So if you are a sound healer or wish to be a sound healer and you are still learning, then there's several things you can do. In the last video from last week, I showed you how to ring a crystal bowl and a regular metal bowl or Tibetan bowl. So that's one way that you can use bowls or instruments to heal others. As a sound healer, I would recommend that you get a few instruments and learn how to play them. I'm gonna make a few more videos and I hope that they will help you. And also that you get attuned to light language because in a light language class, in just two hours, you can become a sound healer by channeling light codes and light language. To learn more about that, you can go to my light language blog post because today we're talking about tuning forks. So I have these great tuning forks. I buy my tuning forks from Jonathan Goldman and he makes the most wonderful tuning forks. They're really great quality. They're really well tuned, they're beautiful. I think they're also a really great price. So I'm really into his tuning forks. I own the Solfeggio set, I own this DNA set, and I own a healing set, and I also own one that clears crystals, which is really cool. They all come with this. Mine's very well used, as you can see. <laughs> and this is his website, healingsounds.com. And this is to ring it. So basically, and I'm gonna back up because there's a microphone right there and you don't want it to be too loud. When you first hit it, it's gonna make a lot of noise. So, again, just like with a bowl, you want to, when you strike it, to be kind of farther away from the microphone. This one is the DNA Fork 13. All right, so you can hear that. As I, now I'm putting it close to the mic so you can hear it. I'll strike the other one. All right, and the other way you can do it is you can hit them together. Now these two are meant to be played together. So really, most of the time, I would just put this on the table over here and I would strike them and play them together. And of course, these come with a booklet on how to use them, but that's how I would do them. Um, but you can also strike them together like this, but it will cause your forks to get a little scuffed up. But if that doesn't bother you, you can do it that way. Again, not too close to the mic. And then you might wanna get closer to the mic so that the other person can experience it. So with all sound healing, what you're doing is playing a sonic sound that is a healing sound. So they're all different kinds of healing sounds. These ones that you buy from Jonathan Goldman all have to do with different types of healing and you can read about each one of them and how they work. But sound healing works in all the same way, which is that it's kind of raising your vibration to the tone. So you can have a tuning fork for chakras. So let's say you have a tuning fork or even a crystal sound bowl that rings for the heart chakra. So basically how that works is entrainment. And what entrainment is, is that there is the frequency where your heart chakra should be at optimum working levels, and then there's falling beneath that, or maybe even being like overstimulated over that. So just like in music, it could be sharp or it could be flat. It's not quite the tone that it's supposed to be. So then if you were to ring that heart chakra tone with whatever instrument that you have, then with entrainment, it would cause your heart chakra to rise up to that vibration, that sonic hertz, or whatever you wanna call it, the sound, the vibration is the best word to say it, because it is vibration, sound is vibration, matter is sound, everything is vibration. So, what entrainment is, is here's a great example. Let's say that we're singing, and we're singing the same song, and we're holding a long note, and your note is slightly flat, let's just say, no offense, and my note is not. So 
because my note is strong. Well, I'm a singer, so it would be a strong note, and maybe you're not really a singer, so yours is not. I mean, this is just an example. If you are, I apologize. Um, then if yours is a little bit flat and mine's a really strong, right on note, then it's gonna bring it up until you are singing the same note I am. It's the same example as you have a room full of clocks and the clocks are all have a, what do they call it? The thing that goes tick tock, tick tock on the bottom. They're grandfather clocks. If you leave the room, I'd set them all differently and then leave the room, when you come back, they will all be in sync. It's called entrainment. So that is how sound healing works. So with these tuning forks, I use them to tune the body, tune them to solfeggio frequencies, tune them to the Pythagorean theory, like a perfect fifth is very healing. Tune, the, tune your crystals to a healing frequency that clears them, a clearing frequency. You know, that's how they work. So I use tuning forks all over the body, meaning that I strike them and then hold them over the body or for distance, I'm sending them with a distance symbol of Reiki or I'm recording the session and holding it up to the microphone. Of course, all my sessions have Reiki. So if I'm doing a distance session, you will be receiving that sonic entrainment, that healing tone, whether you're listening or not, but then you can always go back and listen to the recording. So there are many ways that you can use it. I hope that this is helpful. If you have other questions about tuning forks or any other sound healing instruments, let me know. I'm gonna be doing a few of these videos, so I'd love to answer your questions below or even maybe make a whole new video for it. So please like and subscribe. I'm Rachel Chamness with soundwaveseal.com and I'll see you next time.